I hope you all like the intro because it's only going to be used today. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Thunderbite 29 here. And yep, I am back today with another video. But this time, we're going to do a video talking about the Overwatch Halloween. First of all, I just want to say, Happy Halloween, everybody. Hope it's going really well. I hope you got some nice candy when you're out trick-or-treating. I know some of my audience did go trick-or-treating. Hope you all got the candy you wanted, and I hope you enjoy it. Ah, man, I miss those days. All those days felt like yesterday. All right, snap it, Noah. Time to get serious. Let's get to the discussion of why this Overwatch Halloween event was terrible. So without further ado, let's begin, shall we? So obviously the main reason why this event was terrible, number one, it was all completely the same. They didn't really touch it. They didn't really change it up or do anything. The only thing that they did was add in a couple new skins and that was it. And of course, Junkenstein's Revenge makes a return with like every single Halloween. I mean, who's excited to play Junkenstein's Revenge for the sixth year in a row? I mean, I don't hate the game mode, but the problem is they don't update it. They don't really change it. I mean, I like the game mode, but it gets boring when you play the same thing over and over and over again every single year. Like, oh my god, guys, Junkenstein's Revenge has returned. Time to grind on it. Like, what's the point of that? I already beat it on Legendary in 2018. I mean, one thing I would love to see to keep the game mode going and to not get bored of it, add a new map. But nope, they didn't do that. They just add a couple new skins. Like so many other special events that Overwatch does, like Winter Wonderland, Chinese New Year, Anniversary, Archives, and Summer Games, they've been getting some updates. But Halloween's like the only one that doesn't really get any updates or any changes. Like, if they're not going to change their Halloween or update it, how am I supposed to take Overwatch 2 seriously? And speaking of that, tomorrow it'll be exactly two years ago since Blizzard had officially announced Overwatch 2. Like, how am I supposed to take that game seriously if you're not going to change your Halloween up? But that's not the only thing that happened during this Halloween, because I'm going to get to the second reason. Number two, changing McCree's name into Cole Cassidy. I know this has been getting a ton and ton of backlash. The whole community has been shitting on this new name. But a week and a half ago, they had officially made the decision on Instagram that they were going to change McCree's name into Cole Cassidy. And of course, in that entire comment section, it was getting a ton and ton of backlash from the Overwatch community. Especially people who have been playing this game for years. Like myself. I mean, go to that post and look at the top comments. They say... No, that's McCree. I'm still calling him McCree. And you know what? I actually agree with the Overwatch community. And I side with them on this one. And me too. I'm still calling him McCree because I have played this game for five freaking years. And I've known every character's name by heart. I'm not going to change someone else's name because of some real life controversy that happened. I don't care about the real Jesse McCree. I only care about the McCree that has been in the game for five and a half years. Nobody cares about Jesse McCree. They only care about the video game character. I mean, if they were going to make a decision like this, they should have did it in Overwatch 2. Why do it now when it's been in the game for five and a half years? Don't you think that's a little bit too late for that? Here's a message I want to give to every video game company and every game designer out there to avoid things like this from happening again in the future never name a video game character after a real life person but in conclusion there's not really much else to talk about because like i said at the beginning of this video they didn't really do anything with it they didn't really change it up except add a couple of new skins like they do every single year and add junkenstein's revenge like usual I mean, here's a couple things that I would have loved to see. I, first of all, I would have loved to see at least Junkenstein's Revenge either get a new map or we get another game mode to play. So it's not the same every single year like it's always been. I mean, if you want people to be excited and hyped for Overwatch 2, you should at least update your Halloween to get more people excited and to know that you're still present and you're going to do something new, and get people excited to buy your second game. But in my opinion, for the first time in years, Fortnite finally did better in Overwatch in something. 
Because at least in the Fort Nightmares in Fortnite, they at least added something new and they actually add some changes to it. Unlike Overwatch, they completely kept it the same and didn't really do anything except add new skins. And like I said before, tomorrow will be exactly two years since they officially announced Overwatch 2. Like, I'm hoping pretty soon, I'm hoping that we get some more answers about it. Like, we'll finally get a release date and stuff like that, or more updates. But all we can do now is wait like we've always have been. But what do you guys think of this Halloween? Tell me in the comments section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Like this video and subscribe if you agree. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for the great support. And I'm wishing you all a safe and wonderful happy Halloween. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. It helps the channel and it helps keep the content going. And I will see you all in the next video. And this is Thunderbite29 signing off. Happy Halloween, everybody.